Hey guys, Atticus James here with GearsOfGuns.com and today we're going to do a little bit more range prep. We're still trying to build this out and you know, there are a lot of options out there when it comes to steel plates. I, uh, I just got in my, my new steel plate from Champion. This is their rifle rated 3 8 inch 66% Ipsic plate. So it's going to be great for us out at the range so you guys can hear. I've already had one of these and uh, we're gonna put out another one out of the range so that way that you guys can hear more gong. I like that noise. So uh, my problem is, and like I said, there's a lot of options here when it comes to building out your own range. Um, we have an issue that I wanna use chain. I wanna go and just quickly do some, some chain on here and be done with it. However, chain is expensive and I want to see if I can find a, a, another option. There is something that a lot of people do and that is using um, rubber straps. It's, it's, a, it's a rubber very similar to tires and they go and they get these strips. You can buy them online for about 16 bucks. But rather than going through all of that, I have a bunch of tires that I go and I pick up and that's what I build my range out of. So. Um, the last trip I went and I had a tire that had been completely blown so I said you know what I'm gonna take that that strip and I'm gonna see what I can do with it got to deal with the fogging of the camera it's a uh, very very rainy out here and so I've got enough time to do a little bit of a quick video so that's why it's fogging up a little bit so like I said I wanted to use this tire as my new strap so I'm gonna build an a-frame and then I can hang this plate from it and that way that I'm not using steel where my guys can shoot it and this stuff is a bullets gonna go right through it and it's not going to do a lot of damage so what I have here is just my cordless recip saw and the tire and I'm just strapping it down to my table so I can just cut it I've already gone and removed one end, so we're just going to continue cutting and see what I can get out of this. Once I finish cutting it, I'll bring you guys back in and uh, we'll talk about the A-frame. I'm just using a wood and metal cutting sawzall blade and it's making quick work of this. Alright, so now I've got two 14 inch strips and this is gonna be great because I'm gonna be able to drill holes into the actual rubber. So when it's mounted, it'll be hanging like that. And then I can put my bolts right through here and have the steel hanging from these tires. That way that if they get hit, it's just gonna go through it and it's not gonna do any damage and we'll be good to go. Okay, so my A-frame idea did not work out the way that I was expecting it to. So we switched over to something a lot simpler. I have some landscaping timbers that we're going to sink into the ground and I'm going to find the exact height that I want it. So when I set up my uh, steel post or my, uh, my steel plates, then they're dangling. I know exactly where I want them. This is going to be a lot simpler for me because when I get my tractor and I rebuild this entire area, I can just uproot everything and I don't have to deal with concrete and it's real simple and easy to go. So let's go and punch some holes in the ground and we'll go from there. Yeah. So now before we go back to the actual steel plate that we're installing today, I wanna to talk to you about my little plate that I have. I have this nice small plate that Federal cells, they are nice little beginner type plates is what I like to call them. They're, they're not the, the big, heavy, massive, expensive steel. And you can pick this up over at typically like Academy or something like that. I wanna to talk to you about the hardware that I have on here. Now, you'll see that these are more of a gold color type bolt. And the reason for that is this is a grade eight bolt, meaning that it is a high, high strength steel. And when you're using these kind of targets, you have to use high strength steel. If you don't if you don't use high strength steel, you're going to blast the head of it right off and then the plate's worthless because it's going to drop and then you're gonna have to go and replace the bolt. So you can go and pick these up over at your big box stores like Lowe's or Home Depot. Just go over and ask for the grade eight bolt and they'll set you up with it. Okay, so now I have finally posted this and, and put this up. So as you can see, we just took the um, rubber and I put holes through it. Now, if you're gonna do this at home, remember that you need to put your bolt in first, laying this plate down first. So that way that your bolts are sticking up and then take a hammer and hammer on 
your tires because if you don't do that you're gonna have a difficult time trying to get it on it's a real pain so what we've got to do next is paint this and then we can go and start shooting it now as you can see I have a smaller plate here that dangles by chain the problem that I have is that occasionally we have people who strike the steel or strike the uh, the chain and then I have to go and fix it and it's a whole mess this the bullets are going to punch right through it, they're going to create small tiny little holes, and I'm not going to be worrying about it. The nice thing is, is that it does have plenty of movement, so that way that when you're hitting this, you're not going to punch through. Big thing that you have to remember is that if you have a, a vertical plate, it is straight up and down, that if you go and shoot this and it cannot move, you're going to punch holes right through it. So it has to have some movement or it has to be angled. Always remember that when you're doing your, your steel. Now this is 3 8 inch thick AR500 steel, so this is rifle rated steel. I do have 200 yards that I typically shoot at, so this will be good for most of my smaller calibers. Now, if I wanted to go and shoot something like a 338 Lapua, I'm going to have to be 575 yards away before I feel comfortable with pulling a trigger at this steel. So, at that kind of distance, you can do it, but you remember that it is going to have to be a long distance off. Now, when you're buying ammunition, especially from Federal, and this is from the company that, that owns Federal, if you look on their box, it'll tell you out to what distances your speeds are. So you'll know with your 338, or yeah, your 338 uh, Lapua, what kind of distance you can actually shoot this at. So it has to be below a certain speed. All of this will be in the link in, in the, the description below. And that way that you know what you can shoot at. If you're going too fast, you'll punch right through it. And then you're going to have a bad day. Most people that punch holes through this is because they're way too close. And that bullet is traveling way too fast and it just goes right through the steel. AR-500 is not armor steel. It is not the, the highest level steel. So close range, you're going to punch right through it. So be off at a distance and you'll be good to go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build video. It's something a little bit different than what we normally do. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch up with you next time.